Stay alive, stay alive. 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 Stay Oh oh we'll keep me, we'll keep me again. We're two stories. We're two weak. Jules, guys. Jules, we. Jump now. Blue, from blue. From blue, from blue. Watch your blue. Watch your blue on Hellpack. Hellpack. On the other side of Hellpack. From blue, from blue, from blue. He's got. Going. In front. 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 Coffee absolute, coffee absolute, strong side. Nice. Well, I'm watching the fight at the moment. Spawn red, spawn red, spawn red, where are they spawning? Come on, 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 Red, red, red pack, red pack, from the, 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 from Oh shit, Blue 2, Blue. Who has weak? Blue 2's one shot. Who has weak? Who's yours weak? Watch out, Blue 2, strong state. Blue 2, let's go. Blue 2, let's go. Blue 2, let's go. Blue 2, he's in cave, he's in cave. You have to drop him out, guys. He went by Blue. Help each other. He's going ramp and ramp. He's got shots, he's got shots. He's got a lot of shots. He's snapping a second wait. I got ult snipe. I'm going to go car, I'm going to go car. Come on, come on, come on. I died, I died, I died. Oh, he's got it, he's still got it. Come on, come on, come on. He moves now. He's lifting. We get two strong state. Red plot weak, guys. Come on, come on, come on. Blue, I think. Watch your coffee, watch your coffee. Oh my god. Nice, 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 nice. Wow! Let's go. Well, you're well, you're still alive. Let's go. No, he's no shit, so we're winning this. Yeah. Fuck. No, but. Blink out to you guys. 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 Blue one. Maybe push it there, maybe push it there. Let's do it, Jules. Oh, we're even watching this. SD coming red, SD coming red. Yes, he's coming red, Max, going red, coming red. Oh, yeah, he went back, he went back, he went back. Two us two stepping, he's watching you, he's watching you, guys. That's one, that's one, that's one. Two now, two now, two now, where's he snapping? Two now. That's one, 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 Red pad, Nesty, red pad, Nesty. Red, front row, front row, Max, front row. Oh, I'm lucky, I'm lucky. Red top, Stu, red top, Stu, going cave, going cave. No, red, red, S2 or something, S2 or red pad. Stay alive, guys, stay alive. Stay alive, Alex. Oh, right, 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 Let's see. 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 Wait on that note, uh, <laughs> Riots is, what is Riots doing right now? <laughs> what on earth is he doing? He's happy enough just to write the whole on the stream. <laughs> oh my god! Uh. <laughs> Matt Riots is getting a round of applause. Um, this guy's a hero in my eyes, however, he doesn't get too cocky. He's still 5-2 down in the, uh, the series. He doesn't want... Um, doesn't want to lose this game and you know, people, people bring that up. So, of course, you know, as we look at the devastation, the really closest one out by Adam. Why do you think devastation have just been so good on this game type? I think it's a combination of things. I think devastation are actually very organised in this game type. They know where they want to be. They've all got the same ideas in their head of how to play it. Whereas straight have been avoiding this. They know they're not very good at this game type. This is the map they lost to Western Wolves, and Western Wolves got dominated by 
uh, devastation on this map, so it's clear that this is just a better map for the devastation boys. But winning it in such a convincing fashion, even with a cheeky lol thrown in there by Riot, it's just it's going to put them up, make them feel happy. And when you're playing happy, it's so much easier yeah. to win the game. Well, we saw earlier when um, Devastation were playing Western Wolves, the Riots was like once again clowning around, standing up, really enjoying himself on this game type. Uh, good, good shot to Mikwin right now. Um, straight are only 100 seconds behind. Um, there's only 3 minutes 40 seconds left, but this game isn't necessarily... I mean, this is still straight ripping. This game isn't necessarily done. Um, but it does it help, of course, when you're right and you can just go in and, and walk into the hill and, and no one apparently shoots you. Takes out Mekwin with some good shots there, listening to his teammates, picking up kills, puts another shot into T2. Um, and he's just going to try and pick up the last bit of time Once again, Riot's playing awesome right now, picking up everything that his teammates are turning into. Two seconds left for uh, Devastation to win this game. I think really this is guys are over. Um, I mean, really, I suppose you could say when Riot just walks off the map for the second time, Stops what he's doing with five minutes left in the game. Brings up the menu screen and writes the word "lol" on the stream. <laughs> you guys, you gotta hope the game's over by that point, yeah. anyway. If, if, if Devastation hadn't won that, he would have looked like a complete tosser. <laughs> but <laughs> as it stands, they win the game. He would have looked like the right biggest. Right, he's smiling, yeah. and uh, there's a good round of applause as we go into the next game. This yeah. series is far from over. And these have been some maps that we have left that have been avoided by Straight Ripping. They've avoided Countdown specifically, and maybe we'll see why that is. Maybe they know that uh, Devastation are strong in it, or they're weak. So it's going to be interesting to see these last few games. It will be, it will be. Um, so what game are we? We're 5-3 in the series. Uh, we've got game number nine to come up next, and game number nine will be Capture the Flag on Countdown. Now, as we said, Straight Ripping have been vetoing Countdown non-stop. Um, they do not want this game to go to this. Really, they did, did not want to play Countdown. They wanted to end it before Countdown. So this no, is good for the Apex uh, Devastation guys. It'd be I think they're confident to, with this. It'd be interesting to see what they're capable of on this. You know, why why they think they are so kind of confident. I mean, perhaps for them, if they win Countdown Flag, that they'll get Countdown TS next, maybe for Game Ten, and that'd be a domino effect, and they can go on and, and you know tie up the series and win against uh, Straight Ripping. But then that would leave <laughs> a game 11 on Penance. <laughs> so uh, it, it can happen. Boss. We're not sure. I mean, it depends which map they choose. But it, what matters now is Countdown CTF as Apex Straight Ripping take on Apex Devastation. Europe versus America here at EGL5 in Blackpool. Indeed. We, uh, we should say we just had our, um, our admin boss just tell us that Penance will be game 10, so we are not going to a game 11 on Penance. We don't know yet. Oh, we don't it know depends yet. on the pit. Depends on the oh, yeah. the veto system, doesn't it? Yeah. So we could have a uh, a nice, slow game 11 on Penance. Well, it would be tense, but that doesn't matter moving because Apex Devastation need to win this to stay in the tournament. And that's not the way you want to start, as three of them are down, and maybe uh, straight ripping with sandbagging. I mean, that was that's interesting. Um, given that you'd think, uh, given that you think, um, straight ripping were maybe bad at counting that flag for constantly trying to veto it. All of a sudden, they're they're rocking and rolling. They maybe put the second flag in and will be two 0 ahead straight away. And there you go, straight ripping a two 0 ahead right from the off. And this is going to be a, this is going to be a great game, I think. McQuinn taken out there, trying to get a third cap. Buck 20 takes him out. Buck 20 playing very well. This like this whole series, still going strong. Fusion takes off, nin picks off Ninja. Uh, Riots now picks off strong side. And after a very fast two caps in the first minute, we see a little bit of control coming back to the devastation guys. They're getting composed, they're getting together, and they need to sort something out here to come back in the game. Now, Adam, on countdown flag, which area would you say is kind of the most important area to be running? We're definitely uh, S2 area. I mean, we see all teams from the pro to the lowest standard teams all use that area to its fullest effect. Some people play it differently, you know, using the windows and running around the front. But I think generally just running around S2 using these window areas is really, really critical. Yeah. I mean, all these guys are going to be kind of running around S2 as much as they want. They want to be, really, you know, want to reduce their carbon footprint and. Uh, and walk and run around the map as much as possible. Um, but like Adam said, hold S2. As you can see, Straight Ripping doing a great job of that so far as they go 3-0 three, three up. Um, this is the first sniper is only just born. It's barely even two minutes down on the game timer. And uh, 
you know, a, a great job by Shaman to go 3 0 up. Now Devastation putting the flag of their own, but all nades are coming at buck 20. Is he going to be able to stay alive? He's got cover from Riot, who has a sniper. Dwight's going to be able to put it to work to T2. T2 manages to take it down. Great job by T2. And I think straight open are actually going to prevent this cap. Unless buck 57 can do something magical. No, he can't. Four down for the Apex Devastation boys, and it does seem straight are just very strong here. They're playing very well, they're taking every opportunity that they can, and they're just non-stop winning flags, putting all the pressure onto the Devastation boys. This could be the end of the Europeans. Perhaps, I mean, uh, flags in the hand of Riots right now. He's looking for his teammates to return it. Get a three down for straight. Will Devastation be able to put their first flag on the board? Tito's going to be taken out. That's all four dead momentarily. And there you go, first one on the board for Devastation. And the team in the Red Velvet are coming back into the game. They've just put their first cap on the board. It is 3-1. And remember, if Apex straight win, <laughs> win this game, it's all over. But we'll see, we'll see. There is a bit of life left in Devastation. They are not quite dead yet. Strong side again, taken out. Rockets now in the hands of uh, Devastation. Now, if you want to get a good win on uh, Countdown Flag, my advice is get those Rockets and use them to smash the Jesus out of the other team. It's interesting to see that Riots is pushing in over the radio area going down low. He's obviously... Uh, it's a difficult one to say if that was a good play or not. I mean, he used some rockets, he got a kill in an important area, but now, uh, well, there's a flag going in. Is there? It looks like there is. It's 4-1. Uh, we should probably swap point of view to someone from straight ripping. What's we'll swap point of view to Mikvin right now? So, uh, you know, this is going to be the final game with straight ripping take the series 6-3. We're going to be on board with uh, Straight Ripping. And Nick wins POV is what we're watching right now. As he's looking for his final cap to take this tournament. Flag, uh, their flag was out, but Mick went not going to bother about trying to re get that to reset. He's just going to let it reset on his own as he pushes into the Apex base. He is taken out by uh, a member of Apex Devastation who are desperately trying to cling on to this game. We thought that this game was going to go in their favour and we might see an even closer series, but however, Straight Ripping have coming out of this firing on all kinds of uh, cylinders right now. It's been a fantastic performance from the Straight Ripping team. They've controlled S2 really well. They've got the power weapons. Even when they haven't, they've forced uh, them to be used in areas where Apex Devastation wouldn't want to. And just generally, it's it's just been too much for the Devastation guys to handle. Devastation almost look as if they need to. They need to kind of. Oh my God! I thought, was, uh, I thought uh, Ninja was going to be able to. Let's get the juices out of someone again. Strong side is moving the flag S2. He's just going to drop down to S1. Great job by Mick when to pick up the kill on Bug 57. He's going to be coming up and helping Mike. That is strong side, as you can see there. Use the flag. Buck 20 gets shot off from Mick Wimble. He Wembley. looks scared, Buck 20. He ran away. Uh, he's not sure where the flag runner is, I think. I think that's what he's trying. He's trying to find out where the strong side is and, and, and touch the other flag. You see, Riots is, uh, Riots is trying to move the flag for devastation. And now. Uh, Straight people are trying to bait. Um, Leg devastation into their base? It's possible. I mean, for a while there, I think the Devastation boys would have been quite scared, not knowing where the flag could be. A random cap could come at any time, but they're going to get the return here as Mick when he's sat on the flag. But outside, strong side has taken out the last guy's book 20, and he's against two guys, and that could be the end of the There's tournament. More dead for uh, Devastation right now as T2's running the flag, and he's got cover from Mick when he's got cover from T2. Uh, Ninja's moving the flag in. And that's, that's it! Sick. That's Stray Ripin winning the tournament. 5 1 and counter catch the flag. Applause all around from Straight Whipping. And they are EGL champions for Halo Reach. Congratulations to Apex, Straight Whipping, and also Devastation put on a good fight. Just the Americans was too much to handle, so strong side, T squared, Mick with a ninja. Great congratulations to them, well played. Yeah, well played to Devastation for making it into the finals as well. Uh, T2 and strong side share a hug, which is, ah, oh, isn't that lovely? Um, Guys, thank you so much for tuning in all weekend. It's been a real pleasure to host the whole weekend. Um, thank you for all the support myself, that, you know, that I got. Um, thank you, Adam, for joining me. Couldn't have done it without you, Brera. No worries, dude. I'm glad I managed to make it after the wedding I was at. Yeah, um, and congratulations to your brother. Um, thank you to at Roy with three Ys G for running the stream for us. Thank you to Maverick. Thank you to Boz for running uh, the tournament. Yeah, thank you work. Mainly, mainly to you guys for tuning in. Um, it's it's really you know it's really really 